Hey, if you're married, you're thinking about getting married, you want to get married, you don't want to get married, you need to watch this video. Just watch to the end. So the Lord put on my heart today a couple of things. Um, but first I wanted to tell you, I ended up getting me a new microphone. Uh, let me know how the video sound is. You can let me know in the comment section if it's any good. But um, I also wanted to tell you what the Lord was showing me today, some things that the Lord was showing me today. I was sitting there making some homemade mozzarella. If you guys are watching some of our videos, some of my videos, and uh, maybe seeing me on YouTube, I've been doing some things on uh, YouTube under Breaking the System. The link is in the bio if you go to the bio section. Um, but anyway, I wanted to tell you guys, man, the Lord, uh, the Lord really put it on my heart that love is deep love is like the ocean have you ever heard of the uh, Marianas Trench the deepest part of the ocean supposedly according to according to mainstream science I, I'm not 100% sure I don't really know but I do know this the love is deep love is blind in some areas but love is so eye opening and fulfilling in other areas and um as I was standing there making some mozzarella cheese, I was thinking of really just life, you know, life in general. And I really felt like the Lord put it on my heart that um, I needed to tell somebody on here that when you're getting into a relationship, any kind of relationship, but especially a marriage, you need to focus on the good in the individual and not the bad. Whether you've been married for a, a couple of months or whether you've been married for 20 years, um, things happen in, a rela in relationships. Things develop. You know, you guys are learning to, to live together. 20 years later, you guys are learning to live together. And, um, and I really felt like the Lord was showing me that when you take a marriage and you look at it like an onion, you know, the first layer would be like, you know, a year, maybe two years in a relationship. And it takes a while to pull that layer off. Um, for people out there with ADHD or ADD or whatever mainstream science is saying today, high energy level, um, I'm one of those. I'm very active, very going, you know. Um, we want to get that layer off like right now but um, the fact of the matter is it takes time um, and with time it's kind of like a good wine with age it, you know the fermentation process it, it creates a better wine with age um, so I just wanted to let you guys know you know take your time realize that you're both growing you're both learning you're both going through things especially you men you know I really want you to focus you know there's a lot of women out there and I'm not trying to sound sexist by no means there's men and women but there's a lot of women out there that are finding out oh man this is a this is a good thing to get in get a man turn around get pregnant then take him to court and blah 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 and just a bunch of stupid stuff but there's still a lot of really really good women out there you know I found one that um, she's pretty stinking amazing. There's a few bad things about her, but, um, I mean, I've got my bad things too, you know? And so when we focus on the good in the person and in the individual, when we focus on the life that they give, the life that they bring to the relationship instead of the, the, the crap that they bring to the relationship, it's that's what's going to get us through the storm that's what's going to teach us to weather the uh, the elements if you will think of a marriage as a ship a ship on the on the ocean sways and, and moves with the, the waves and the wind and the weather but the ship will stay afloat if you stay focused on the positive. You stay focused on the righteousness. Now, 
I want to make it very clear. I'm not saying to let your wife cheat on you or, or beat you or or your men, for that matter. If, if there's men out there, shame on you. You never hit a woman. The only time it's okay to hit a woman is when you bend her over your knee and you give her a good love smack on the butt. Um, but it's purely out of love. It's purely out of enjoyment. It's purely out of play. Another thing to think about in y'all's relationships, especially you men, most men love to play. Women play with them. They love to play. They love to wrestle. They love to, they love to um, be rough. And, and I know I speak more than for just myself. I know there's many, many men out there that love that kind of stuff. And they want to enjoy their wives. They want to, it, they shouldn't have to come home after a long day's worth of work and sit and, and just come home and, and there's no life in the home, you know? There's gotta be life in the home. So play with them, feed them, give them something to look forward to when he comes home women and men vice versa you know when you're coming home from a long day's worth of work and the house seems kind of dead wake your wife up you know whether it's physically or, or metaphorically speaking wake her up get her up get her attention hey let's do something um let's enjoy each other's company get off your stinking phones not saying that it's not a bad thing to get on your phones but actually enjoy life with each other because the memories they might fade over time but they're still always going to be there a phone yeah it'll always be there but i tell you what you need memories with your spouse stop looking at things oh it could be better if if this that or the other enjoy it while you have it enjoy what you have i tell you what most marriages would be 10 times better, 100 times better, if they would actually start pulling out the good in their wives. The wife, or the, the men and the women in a relationship, they, they only get better with time. Um, you know, most, oh, well, she changed after we got married, or he changed after we got married. So he, don't, he don't open the car door for me, or he don't take me out to eat. Well, life happens. But take the initiative to, to separate that time um, and do something. Yeah, you got to take care of responsibilities. Yeah, you got to take care of the kids. Yeah, you got to take care of cooking at home or whatever it is. But, you know, my wife and I, we, we make sure that we have weekly or almost weekly date nights. Um, we make sure that we spend time, quality time together. We sit on the couch and we cuddle. And I know that's weird for you guys out there, but your women need it. And men don't act like you don't, because you know you need it just as much as women. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys, the facts are the facts. The facts are, we need to start protecting our marriages, men and women alike. Women, get your shit together. Stop being little hoe bags. Stop trying to jump around and find the perfect guy. You're never gonna find a perfect guy. I wish, I wish I could say I knew some, but I don't. I'm a guy and I don't know anybody perfect. And then men, stop treating your women like they're like they're lower than you, or vice versa. Stop putting them on a pedestal. They're supposed to be out of your hip. They're supposed to be out of your side. Protect them. Love them. Uh, care about it, but you can't treat them like a god either. Um, they're supposed to be a help me. Anyway, I'm kind of running out of time, so I'm going to end this video. I love you guys. Stay focused on what positive in the relationship. Remember to build each other up in the most holy things that you guys have. And remember, everybody has a bad day, so help, help them change it from a bad day to a good day, not make it worse. Love you guys. See you in the next video.